welcome to Accounting Expo. Today we shall be looking at Purchase Day Book. Purchase Day Book, as we all know from our previous lesson, is the book of original entry where transactions involving credit purchases are recorded. That is, when goods are bought on credit, the first book of accounts where such transactions are recorded is the Purchase Day Book. It's worthy of note that goods bought on cash basis or fixed assets bought on credit basis are not recorded in the purchase day book. Now the question we have deals with Malam Manaima of 25 Jame Road, Kaduna, who purchased the following items on credit in the year 2010. The first purchase, the first set of goods he purchased was on the 2nd of May and he purchased from A. Dango. As all books of original entry, apart from the proper journal and the cash book, are alike. So the purchase day book, like just like the sales day book, returning was day book, and return out was day book, have columns for dates, particulars, folio, amounts, and total. Now, in the first column, we are going to write the day that the transaction took place, which is May 2nd. This in the order of occurrence. So May 2nd, he bought the goods on credit from A. Dango. So we are going to write A. Dango in the particulars for you and write what he purchased. He purchased, the first item he purchased was three cows at 5,000 Naira each. So three cows at 5,000 Naira each, which sums up to 15,000 Naira. The second set of goods he bought from A. Dango was four cows at 400 Naira each. Four cows at 400 Naira each, which is 1,600 Naira. Because there is a trade discount of, there is 5% trade discount, it's worthy of note that we will had the two, to, the two amount together, then subtract the trade discount from the amount. So this gives us, this sums up to 16,600 Naira. Then less 5% trade discount. 5% of 16,000 600 naira is 830 naira. So when we subtract 830 naira from 16,600, it gives us 15,000, 15,770 naira. The next transaction took place on the third of May, when Malam Mainama bought goods on credit from Y Dango Danjumo. May third bought goods on credit from Y Danjumo. Just as we did in the first transaction. In the column for dates, we are going to write May 3. Then the name of the person he bought goods on credit from Y Danjuma. And the goods that he bought from him on credit, four cows at four thousand naira each, which happened to be the only set of goods he bought from him on that day. 
So four times four thousand gives us sixteen thousand naira. So meaning he bought sixteen thousand naira worth of goods from him. We may decide not to write the value of the goods under amount column, but write it under total column so that we can add it with the other amount of goods he bought. There was no discount attached to the goods that Malam Mainama bought from Wydanjuma. So on the 15th of May, he bought goods on credit from D. Yerima. So in the column for date, we are going to write May 15. Then write the name of the person he bought goods from on credit, D. Yerima. Then what he bought from him on credit, five cows at 500 naira each. Five times 500 gives us 2,500. We are going to write the amount under the total column because he still bought the other transactions that he had with the Jerima. So on the same day, he bought five camels. At 10,000 naira each. Five times 10,000 gives us 50,000 naira. By the time we add up everything, it gives us 50, 52,500, which will be written under the column for amount because it attracted, the transaction attracted 10% trade discount. So 52,500 less 10% trade discount, which happens to be 5,250 Naira. And when we subtract that, when we subtract 5,250 naira from 52,500, we have 47,250. So the amount will be written here, 47,250. So that we can add to the other value, to the value of goods, so to the other custom creditors. So, the total value of goods that Malam Menmana Menama bought from his creditors summed up to 79,020 Naira, which will be transferred to purchases account at the end of the month, May at one. Then draw two lines under the total to show that you are done with the sales, the purchase book for now. Now, at the end of the month, the transaction will be transferred to the ledger account. Now, it's worthy of note that we, we when we are decrease, we debit the asset. In this case, purchase is a stock of goods that increased when they bought it. So we have to debit purchase account with the total at the end of the month. So here we write May 31. 
creditors. Seventy nine thousand and twenty. Then the individual account of the creditors will be credited because in dealer, whenever liabilities is increasing, we debit the accounts of the people to whom the organization is indebted to. So we are going to debit. We, are, we, credit, we credit the account of the people to whom the organization is indebted to. Whenever there is increase in the indebtedness of the organization to any creditor, such creditor's account will be credited. So here, A Dango's account will be credited. So here we write May or Two five purchases for a dango we had fifteen thousand seven seventy goods worth of goods sold to him. For why Dan Juma, the transaction took place on the third of May. The same thing purchases sixteen thousand naira. Then that of G. Yerima took place on the 15th of May. 15th of May, purchases to 47,250 naira. 